we'll be ready to go and there it is good morning so good morning everybody happy thursday and um i tell you man god is good god is good god 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 gives you peace that will pass all your understanding and when you receive that peace that comes from the lord <clears throat> i mean man it's a blessing and so there's peace available in the house amen peace available in the house if you can remove that thank you and so this morning we're gonna we're gonna talk about growing in grace if any of you had an opportunity to join me last night i'm getting ready to start a really radical series but we're gonna set the thermostat i talked to you about that today your life is getting ready to propel to another level and uh it's gonna be great it's gonna be great and i welcome you to the grace gang this morning and i want to speak life into you you know the first place when you say i believe something the first place it's going to show up is in your mouth and, and we we speak it because we believe it amen and so yeah i welcome you and i declare today you are blessed you're empowered to prosper whatever's wrong that god will make it right send every devil to flight and i thank god that you're going to have a uh, amazing day today a day where you know some of you just not gonna be able to help but to lift your hands up in public and just say thank you jesus and recognize the goodness of the lord let's let's recognize the goodness of the lord let's see the goodness of the lord so we're welcoming you to the grace gang let's see where who's in the house who's in the house who's in the house cincinnati ohio we welcome you send blessings your way welcome to the grace gang this morning um california is in the house we welcome you guys to the grace gang omaha nebraska cleveland ohio charlotte north carolina oh man god give me strength to go back to some of these places montreal canada uh the virgin islands in the house with us this morning we welcome you, man. Uh, we, we pray for your mom and uh, we believe for healing. Angola is in the house this morning. South Africa, South Bend um, is in the house. Gray, Georgia, um, Lafayette, Indiana, Jacksonville, Florida, uh, Blackdom, New Mexico in the house. Welcome to the Grace Gang. Nashville, Richmond, Virginia, Chicago, in the house this morning the international city college park georgia in the house malaysia is in the house this morning fresno uh is in the house with us welcome to the grace gang tulsa pasadena california welcome to the grace gang praise god um college park scottsdale georgia um Praise God. Welcome to the Grace Gang this morning. Dayton, Palmetto, Georgia, uh, Irving, Texas, San Diego, South Africa again, Southern California, Ghana is in the house with us today. India is in the house today. Uh, Philadelphia, Los Angeles, Lawrenceville, Georgia in the house, Orlando, Naples, Florida, High Point, North Carolina is with us today. Sell good furniture up there, man. Mozambique is here with us today. Brazil is in the house today. Praise God. Um, let's see who else is here. Guam is in the house today. Uh, praise God. Indianapolis, Indiana. France is in the house today. Union City, Milwaukee hampton georgia pennsylvania uh, the land of the lakes uh new orleans is in the house south dakota fayetteville georgia is in the house ha <laughs> ha yeah we're gonna have a good time today atlanta yes right uh oklahoma city pittsburgh jamaica in the house houston 
Arizona is in the house. Syracuse, New York. Charlotte is in the house this morning. We send blessings to you guys. Welcome to the Grace Gang. Um, somebody said, pray for me to get a husband. I pray you get a, the right husband. Praise God. In Jesus' name. Uh, let's see. Because of God's love, I will call upon him. He will set me above all my troubles. He will deliver me from all my fears. He will honor me with his presence and power. He will reward me with long life and he will show me his salvation. I declare that I'm Psalms 91 equipped in Jesus name. Amen. Let me get into this while we got power. Uh, you know, the other day we were reading out of the book of Titus chapter 2 verses 11 and 13. And we see that the grace of God has been given to teach us and to train us and to literally mature us and to grow us up. All right. So growth in our spiritual life comes only by the grace of God. According to Titus chapter 2, 11, that the grace of God teaches us godly conduct. It teaches us how to live godly, how to deny ungodliness and worldly lust. It teaches us. So growth in spiritual life comes only by the grace of God. But you have to eventually come to the place where you ask this question. How do you grow in grace? How do you do that? Write this scripture down. Second Peter chapter three. And, and and read through read verses 15 through 18 verses 18 talks about grow in grace grow in grace until the day of the lord comes he says grow in grace now this grace that we're talking about uh it's not based on our good behavior or lack of it okay it's based on god's amazing goodness and unconditional love for us. And he says for us to grow in that, grow in God's amazing goodness and his unconditional love for us. Now, remember, this is how we define grace. Grace is the unmerited, abounding provision of the unrestrained operation of God's infinite love through Jesus Christ on behalf of mankind, especially for those who depend on him. It is the unmerited abounding provision. So in that is provision. It's unrestrained operation of God's infinite love. It works through Jesus Christ. It is on behalf of man and especially for those who depend on him. OK. And so God's grace is not bestowed on us because of our good works. We get that right but it is bestowed on us to enable us, listen to this, to do good works that God had in mind for us to do. Let me say that again, because this kind of goes with what we were talking about last night. Uh, according to Ephesians 2, chapter 4 through 9, it says that we were saved by grace through faith. And, and uh, this is uh, not of our own, but it's a gift of God. Listen to this. God's grace is not bestowed on us because of our good works. So God doesn't bestow grace on us because we're just all that, okay? But his grace, his grace is bestowed on us. Why? Why is his grace bestowed on me? To enable me, to enable us. His grace is on us to enable us to do the good works that God has in mind for us to do. Now that's a powerful statement. That's a statement I want to say over and over and over again. God's grace is not bestowed on us because of our good works, but God's grace is bestowed on us so he can enable us to do good works. OK, so I don't need good works to get saved. I don't need good works to get healed. I don't need get work, good, good work to get any of those things. OK, because God's grace is on me so that I can produce a fruit of good works. So what does it mean to grow in grace? Let's go through this. What does it mean to grow in grace? All right. Um, well, it isn't something that you grow in overnight. I can tell you that. 
grace is not something that you grow in overnight. It takes time and it takes a relationship. Grace is not something you grow in overnight. It takes time and it takes a relationship with Jesus. So that's number one. Number two, growing in grace starts. It starts in realizing what it means to receive it yourself. When you when you start growing in grace, when you when you realize what it means to receive it yourself. If we really understand what we have, what we have, and if we really understand what we've received when we receive grace, then it's going to be easier to give grace to others because you realize what you have. Understand something. God does things for us first so we can do it for somebody else after that. He does for us first so we can do for somebody else after that. OK, even even in loving him, he loved us first, enabling us to love him and to love other people. OK, so if we're going to grow in grace, we got to realize what we've received. And then we got to be willing to, uh, to 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 give it to other people. Number three, the highs and the lows of life. Wow. You grow in grace in the highs and the lows of life. When we are happy and when we're hurt can all be opportunities used to grow in grace. Mm. All right. We are to see others as Jesus sees us. And that's hard to do when somebody's done something to you, but the highs and the lows of life uh, are opportunities for us to grow in grace one two three all right this is number four we have the opportunity to grow in grace when we are hurt by others we have an opportunity to grow in grace when we are hurt by others you have been hurt by somebody that's not that that's an opportunity that's an opportunity to grow in grace the more we let him into our the more we let jesus into our hurts the more we let grace into our hurts the more he can help us grow in grace. You don't grow in your comfort zone. You grow in discomfort. And anytime you find yourself in discomfort, then that's an opportunity you have to grow. So when you're hurt by other people, that's an opportunity to grow in grace, an opportunity to pray for them and love them in spite of anything that they do or say to you. That's an opportunity. Don't let it go to waste. All right. Number five, living our everyday lives is where we grow in grace the most. It's not we grow more in grace when we go to church. I mean, praise God for church that equips us. But we grow the most where grace is concerned in living our everyday lives. We got to get that. This thing is an everyday life kind of thing. You know, it's not a segregated uh, place, a segregated time. It's all of those places and all of those times, you know, it's life. It's living our everyday lives and confronting all the things that happen in our everyday lives. That's the opportunity to grow in grace. It takes time, effort, and strength of God to continue to grow in it. Okay. And, uh, amen. I'm going to grow in grace I'm going to use every opportunity that I have to grow in grace. You see, here's what I do know. If we walk with Jesus every single day, growing in grace will be something that will come out of our relationship with him. And that's that's really the bedrock right there. Having a relationship with Jesus Christ every single day then you will see yourself grow in grace because you're walking with him every day. I hope you're getting a hold of this thing about, you know, uh, all of the miracles and blessings and everything happens in the building on Sunday morning. Mm -mm. You have a day-to-day -day God. You have a day-to-day -day Holy Spirit. And that's where your growth is going to take place. Growing in grace is necessary if we want to become more like Jesus. Growing in grace is necessary if we want to become more like Jesus. Amen. All right. And so um, making an impact on the world 
that we are living in because we're spending time growing like Jesus, right? We're spending time growing like Jesus. And so when we are hurt by someone, he uses them as an opportunity to grow in grace. It's then that our hurt now can be used for something good and not wasted. Don't waste your hurt. <laughs> grow in it, right? Lord, and in all you're getting, get understanding. Love you so much. I'll see you tomorrow, and we'll 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 kind of go over some of this stuff tomorrow, and uh, make sure you you guys got it. Hey, I'm 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 celebrating. The enemy just don't want this to get out, but we gonna get it out. Hey, Amen. God bless you. Uh, tune in uh, and listen to the teaching from last night's Bible study. Uh, a lot of this stuff you'll get out of that teaching as well. God bless y'all. Have an amazing day. I'll see you later on. Bye-bye, everybody.